Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about skin shaders in Cinema 4D, especially uh, with Octane and Redshift. So we got this model here, you can download that from, uh, I don't know, it's, it's a free model. Um, you have to search for it. Maybe I'll post a link down in the description. Uh, and let me just uh, quickly delete this material. So, first of all, we have to scale it. Um, best thing is to uh, measure it in real-world scale. So, if I just uh, go ahead and um, import a figure, the standard figure from um, Cinema 4D, you can see um, that we have this as a reference. So, if I just uh, go ahead and move it, you can see that uh, this should be the size of the head. So if I take a look at the, um, at the scale of the head now, um, we see that the Y is uh, 2 centimeters and this is and this is too low. So I'm just gonna um, scale it up. This is important for the subsurface scattering. So let's see, maybe two, I don't know. Maybe 30 centimeters or something like that. And let's see. Ah, yes. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. So, so next step is to create a material. And fortunately, uh, Redshift provides a preset. So if I just click on Create, Redshift, Materials, and we got the skin shader. So click on it. Creates the skin shader, and I can drop it here. Just delete this. So, next thing is uh, I want to uh, change my render settings to Redshift and also turn on the global illumination to Brute Force and Irradiance Point Cloud. So let's fire up the render view now. So we get this not very good looking right now, but we get to that. I'm going to create a dome light and uh, I'm going to just quickly import an HDRI. Just drop this one in, maybe. Okay. So we got some basic lighting. Okay, let's um, jump into the node editor. So we got some different options here. Uh, we got the radio scale, overall scale, and so on and so forth. I get to that in a moment. And also we got this tab here called Reflections and Bump Mapping. Since we are using a very high detailed model, we don't need any bump mapping, but uh, the reflections we need. So I'm just going to crank the primary reflection weight up to 1. You can already see that there is a, some reflections going on. So now let's import a texture for the face. And now I'm going to connect this one to the shallow scatter color. Let's see, okay. So now not very much has changed, but the head got pretty red now. So we can play around with the weight and uh, also the radio scale. The radio scale is primary um, a multiplier for, um, for the weight here. So we just uh, crank this one down to let's say 10. Now you can see that um, there is some scattering going on in the ear now. But the face is still red, so let me just, um, in the shallow scatter, bump up the weight to 1. Okay. And uh, the, the deep scatter, let me reduce that. Yes. Basically, we have to play around with the values here, so um, let me just uh, reduce the weight here for the mid scatter and also the deep scatter weight. Zero 0.5 maybe, and uh, reduce the radio scale to, let's say, 8. And, um, yeah, we get this. So, a very sophisticated shader, I think, or you can get quick results. Those values depend on the scale of the scene, 
but um, let's try this one uh, with a different uh, lighting condition. Let's say what do I got here so the Scarlet Garage, maybe. get a very good looking, uh, pretty realistic skin shader without doing very much in the reflections and stuff like that. This is all done for you. So uh, let's say uh, I want to crank up the glossiness. See, we don't want to overdo that. So um, that's basically it. Okay, now let's jump to Octane. Let's delete the dome light here. This texture tag, and let's fire up our life viewer. Important thing is that you change your settings to path tracing. Right now we're on direct lighting, so we change this one to path tracing and fire it up. So right now everything is black. That's because we don't have any uh, lights in it, so we're gonna go ahead and click on Objects, HDRI Environment, and Import an Image Texture. We're gonna use the same one as before. Let's use, um, I don't know, a Scarlet Garage, for example. Load, okay, so now we got this. And we're gonna create a universal material and drop it onto the model. So right now it looks like a T1000, but uh, this is because our metallic is set to 1. We're gonna set that to 0 now. Okay. Let's import the texture once more. Connect it to the albedo slot. So, we get this. Okay, and also let's change um, the BRDF model from Octane to Backman, let's say. And another thing we have to change here we have to change the IOR to something more skin related. It's, um, I think it's 1.45 or 44. I'm going to use 44, which uh, just is a little, it's a small detail, but it makes a, but it makes a difference. So our model is too glossy right now. Let's plug in a flow texture to the specular slot. Flow texture is set to 0.5 right now. Duplicate the flow texture and connect the flow to the roughness. So we get this. Maybe a little bit more of the specular, 0.8. Yes. This is looking good. Okay. So next step is we want some uh, subsurface scattering going on. So what we can do now is we're gonna create a RGB spectrum and plug it into the transmission. And we're gonna have to change the color to something more reddish, like so. So right now everything is lit here. Um, this is because we need a medium. We need a scattering medium. So if I go to medium here and click on scattering medium, it automatically creates a scattering for me and well actually that's basically it you can see that um, we get some scattering on the ear and with the density we can control how much scattering is going on let's crank this up maybe to 1000 and you can see that uh, it's gotten less scattered so and if we lower this value to let's say one we get basically the same as uh, without the scattering medium so but i think 100 is a pretty good number here and um, one important thing is that the roughness value here uh, goes hand in hand a little bit with the scattering so if i lower the roughness you can see that we get some um, some spots here so uh, we can uh, counter that by going to the scattering tab here and I'm going to import a flow texture connect this one to the scattering and uh, right now it's set to 0 0.5 but if I 
upper this to let's say two. Uh, or maybe ten. Yeah, see, those uh, spots disa slowly disappear. But again, we want some roughness, so let's put this one to 0.5. And uh, also the scattering here, let's put this one to maybe 2. And uh, that's basically it. So I hope you liked this uh, short tutorial. If so, give me a like, follow me, leave me a comment, and I see you next time. Bye!